here again outside of St. Thomas. We're on the boat. This is one of the largest on the boats on the island. And again, I look at St. Thomas Parish Church, which was built in 1836. And this is where to leave the Battle of Old Town in St. James and Lassels and Seaview. This is like the power substation at St. Thomas. Yes, because I'm in the center of the island at the moment, in the parish of St. Thomas. St. Thomas and St. George are the two parishes here in the center of the island, with North Sea, North Coast Lane in there. This is the, this way to head back to the south of the island, with Warrens, Bagatel, Redmond's Village, Corsulus, and the Archer Fire Station. Straight ahead will take you back to the north of the island with Port of Vail Sugar Factory and we'll be back into the parishes of St. Lucia and St. Peter, the two northernmost parishes. The road here to the right will lead you back to the east via Rock Hall, Freedom Village and Harrison's Cave and Rex Hall Gully. Rock Hall was the first Freedom Village here in Barbados where the slaves landed in 1838 after slavery. They landed in Rock Hall, St. Thomas. And the road to the left, the Lady Battle of Old Town, and to the rest of the island. This road will also lead back to um, Content, St. Thomas as well. If you the road to the east, the road to the right, you also lead back to Content. St. Thomas, we will come across the earlier machine shop and garage. So we'll leave out a content on Rock Hall and Harrison Skiff and Rexham Hall Gully. Parish Church again, which was built in 1836. At the bottom, at the top of the road hill that will lead the Battle of Whole Town. So, once upon a time, this was just a lonely road with just sugar cane. There was no roundabout or anything, just a four cross road. The roundabout was only placed here in 1996 after they rebuilt the highway and renamed it the Ronamap Highway. The opening ceremony for the Ronamap Highway was held here in the roundabout and the plot was unveiled by Lady Mapp who was surrounded by Mapp's wife. Opposite St. Thomas Church is the St. Thomas Substation, the Barbados Latent Power, which is our main source of electricity here in Barbados. The northern route will lead you back to the, will also take you to the Port Vale Sugar Factory, which is the long working sugar factory in Barbados. Only one operational since the closure of Andrews Factory in 2013. Like I would have said before, Andrews was closed in 2013 under the last government. It was closed to reopen as a multi purpose factory. But that plan did not work out, so it is now there surrounded by a high white fence to keep out trespassers.
and from here we can see all up to Mount Misery in St. Thomas as well. We will come across the Cable and Wireless Earth Satellite and um, the Earth, the, the, the Satellite Station, the Cable and Wireless Earth Station. which is situated at Mount Misery, St. Thomas. From there, we can get a clearer view of St. Vincent, which is a neighboring Caribbean island to Barbados, east of Barbados. Lawrence Johnson on the boat outside of St. Thomas Church. So the Ronamap Highway was renamed Highway 2 -way. The Highway 2 -way was renamed Ronamap Highway in, 1990, in the 90s in, and it was officially opened in 1996. We named the Ronamap Highway. Starting from Warrens, the northern end of western end of Warren by six summer waters and would end at Manila Quarter in St. Peter, which is to the north of the island. Again, Hoa Town was the first settlement where the, where the uh, English settled in 1627 when they landed in Barbados and they set up the first church, which was St. James Parish Church. The first church was St. James Parish Church, built in 1629, two years after the English settled. Thomas Church again. Thank you guys for watching us and have a blessed evening.